come to BSc statistics students. Uh, in this class, I explain the problem in pair t test for a difference of means is also a small sample test. This is very simple. So I discuss one or two problems. So here it is problem number one. If you see the problem number one, a certain stimulus administered to each of the 12 patients resulted in the following increase of the blood pressure. You should understand properly, correctly. The 12 patients, that is n is equal to 12. And uh, a certain stimulus administered, certain treatment was uh, taken and it was uh, given to the 12 patients and uh, before and after uh, giving the treatment this is the blood pressure this is the increase of the blood pressure increase of the blood pressure is it, it is observed here for example of before that uh, if it is 120 after it is 125 increase is 5 like that 5 to 8 minus 1 these are the observations the increase in the blood pressure is observed that is it is called we can consider it is di di is nothing but xi minus yi xi is before the readings uh, readings of the before uh, the treatment and uh, yi is readings after the treatment so now it is a difference is given that is di is given increase is given you see minus 1 which means uh, the previously the reading was uh, 100 after that it is 99 for example so therefore it is uh, uh, 100 minus uh, 99 it is plus 1 so increase therefore it is minus 1 if you consider uh, before and after 99 minus 100 it is minus 1 like that 0 before 100 after uh, the treatment is it is uh, 100 again 100 therefore it is 0 like that can we conclude that the stimulus will in general be accompanied by an increase in the blood pressure what you have to consider we are, what we have to test the stimulus will in general accompanied by an increase in the blood pressure that we have to test so for this uh, what we have to consider first of all you see di and di square i will tell you the formula and uh, before that uh, what you have to do is you square do the square and calculate summation di and summation di square di 5 to 8 and so on the readings are given here and di square 5 square 25 2 square 4 etc you calculate all the squares here so that uh, summation calculate a total of di square summation di square summation di 31 and 185 like that so then you start the calculation now first of all d bar average of d the d bar the formula is 1 by n summation di summation di is 31 divided by n is it n is equal to 12 12 patients hence it is 12 so it is equal to 2.58 so this is d bar and after that you calculate yes based on the formula you have to calculate yes that is uh, I am giving the formula of s square S square is nothing but S square is nothing but uh, 1 by n summation di square minus d bar whole square. This is the formula I am giving to you. Summation di square by n. Summation di square is 185 divided by n is 12. And uh, minus uh, d bar that is 2.58 whole square d bar square. If you calculate this value you will get some 8.76. You calculate the value. And also calculate, yes, square root of 8.76, it is 2.96. Sum the value, something the value you calculate. And uh, you see here are the null hypothesis which are something which are different. This is looking to be a t-test for two means, but uh, the sample sizes are equal here. The sample sizes are equal and the two observations, uh, the two samples are dependent. Two samples are dependent, not independent. This is what the observation you have to make from the t test for two means. In two test for two means, uh, difference of means, uh, 
uh, observations are independent the samples are independent the sample size may be different but here it is pair t test for difference of means the pair t test of difference of means the samples are dependent not independent they are dependent and the sizes must be equal because the same patients are going to be considered in the second sample as well first sample second sample right so therefore null hypothesis h not mu1 is equal to mu2 that is uh, the blood pressure was not increased due to the stimulus so what are the certain statement what given administered the stimulus uh, it is not administered uh, not uh, for for the increase in the blood pressure it is not administered that is whatever uh, the stimulus administered uh, which was not in general it is uh, increasing in the uh, blood pressure that is what we have considered null hypothesis an alternative hypothesis mu1 less than mu2 that is it is one tile test mu2 increase increase second uh, uh, particular reading was increased mu1 less than mu2 right uh, mu1 is always less than the mu2 the blood pressure was increased after administered the stimulus whatever the stimulus uh, which is in, in general it increases the blood pressure that is what the statement we considered in the alternative hypothesis so it is one tile test always you remember the pair t test of difference of means it is a pair t test pair t test of difference of means always which will be the alternate hypothesis is a one tile test alternative hypothesis is always one tile test whether it is less than or greater than the test statistic under h not it is different from the remaining problems what is this t is equal to d bar by s by root n minus 1 there are no cases no such cases t is equal to d bar by s by root n minus 1 which follows t n minus 1 because n 1 is equal to n 2 is equal to n here you don't think that there are two samples there are two samples exactly here here also two term two samples we have but n1 is equal to n2 is equal to n the sample sizes must be equal that is the difference you have to consider d bar we have considered we have calculated 2.58 divided by s 2.96 divided by square root of n minus 1 12 minus 1 if you calculate this value you will get some 2.89 now again the comparison and conclusion it is uh, it is almost same in all the test we calculate modul modulus of t 2.89 and uh, tabulated value must be considered from alpha and n minus 1 t alpha comma n minus 1 the degrees of freedom t 5 percent n is 12 minus 1 n is 12 12 minus 1 n minus 1 so t 5 percent comma 11 it is uh, at 5 percent level of significance and 11 degrees of freedom for one tile test always to be considered for one tile test for one tile test the value is 1.76796 so if we compare these two values 2.8 and is greater than 1.796 therefore modulus of t it is greater than t alpha comma n minus 1 that is uh, 5 percent comma 11 which implies h naught is rejected h naught is rejected means h1 is accepted what is h1 stimulus will in general will increase the blood pressure that is the blood pressure was increased after administered the stimulus the blood pressure was increased after administered the stimulus the treatment is uh, uh, worked out it was uh, um, uh, most useful it was useful for increasing the blood pressure those are some of the patients uh, uh, have less uh, low blood blood pressure that way after treatment was given the blood pressure was increased that is what uh, the conclusion we can make from this particular test thank you thank you very much